I'm responsible for a few different things at the festival. I oversee the TIFF Docs section, which is where we put our documentary films. And a new sideline to that section, being made available to the public for the first time this year, is called TIFF Docs Conference. That's a two-day symposium in the middle of the festival that's an intensive opportunity to hear from filmmakers and leaders in the film industry, also to see some world premieres within that uh, two-day event. Then the other section I oversee is called Mavericks. Mavericks is an elite section in the festival. This year we have seven of them. And there's always a very large component of a live conversation in Mavericks. Each year at the festival, it's a completely different slate of films. This year happens to be a great year for discoveries. And frankly, that's kind of more exciting as a programmer because you're giving a chance to filmmakers who have a very promising future and you know that this festival is gonna be the start of their career. This year at the festival, we have a lot of documentaries about famous people. There's a film about Venus and Serena Williams, the tennis players. There's a film about the band 30 Seconds from Mars. But it's equally exciting to me to find uh, films about uh, people who need a fresh discovery. Um, and that is certainly the case with a film called Far Out Isn't Far Enough, the Tommy Ungerer story. Tommy Ungerer was a really well-known children's book illustrator in the 50s and 60s. And then for reasons you can find out in the film, is uh, he went into kind of exile and he's been less prominent in the last few decades. This film is a kind of rediscovery of a great artist and I'm really looking forward to audiences making that rediscovery that I made when I first saw this film. This year there are a cluster of three films about the Middle East. There's a film called The Gatekeepers, uh, about the former uh, heads of, of Israel Shin Bet. Um, there is a film called State 194, following Palestinian Prime Minister uh, Salam Fayyad. And then there's a third film that's a very personal voice uh, and take on the Middle East, and that's a film called A World Not Ours. In this film, uh, we are looking at a refugee camp in Lebanon, uh, which sounds like maybe a kind of heavy topic, but this film is made with a sense of humor and a sense of nostalgia and really makes what to some people could be an obscure place a very universal story about home and dislocation and friendship. One of the mavericks that I'm most excited about this year because it was a real discovery for me is a film called Casting Pie. This is about the career of the casting director, Marion Doherty. You might not know her name, but you definitely know her work in films like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, Lethal Weapon, and you know, dozens of others that I could name. This film called Casting By about Marion Doherty's career opens a window not only on her important career, but uh, also sheds light on the, uh, the field of casting in general, which is a really kind of misunderstood and overlooked field. Uh, we're going to be showing this film as a Mavericks, followed by a conversation with Danny Glover, who Marion Doherty cast in Lethal Weapon, and another casting director, Ellen Lewis. And I think that this, uh, th this event taking place within the festival is really going to make people understand that mysterious role of casting in a new way.